When I grew up in Zimbabwe, I lived in a place where weekends were reserved for funerals. Funerals of people who were dying from HIV AIDS. There was no treatment. On this 20th anniversary of World AIDS Day, I think it's appropriate to look back for a moment to when this day was first observed. This year's slogan, Stop AIDS, Keep the Promise, is a timely one. In the Apostle Paul's letter to the Corinthians, he asked, if the trumpet does not sound a clear call, who will get ready for battle? We as leaders must continue to sound that call and encourage others to see themselves as leaders in this fight. And we must reaffirm our own commitment to confront and defeat this disease once and for all. is the most important wedge we've had to drive forward a much more ambitious agenda, which is basic health care for everybody who needs it. Students really don't have the kind of conflict of interest that so many others do. They can point to um, some of the problems that others would like to see hidden away, or problems that are neglected just through inattention. In Haiti, my co-workers called AIDS Schwal Batai, which means battle horse. And what they meant was, we ride that into the battlefield, and the battle we're fighting is not for one disease, but to improve medical care for people living in poverty. Activism has played a huge role in speeding up this process without losing you know, any kind of quality. And I think moving forward, we have to find a way to harness that energy uh, into this broader uh, goal, which is basic health care for people living you know, without it.